Hey guys, so quick tip on washing your dog at home. We basically stick our dogs in the tub or wherever and we wash them with shampoo and then we'll take a, a towel and go like this, okay? You got a short haired dog, a lab, a pity, a boxer, no big deal. You have a dog with hair, which are typically the dogs that you need to groom and you do this, you end up with a matted mess. So I wanna show you just a quick way, if you're at home, what to do after you've towel dried your dog. Okay, so basically when you are towel drying your dog, you are going like this. Imagine you're doing that to your own hair after you get out of the shower. You're basically moving the hair in these circular motions and it causes the hair to not entangle up. So what you wanna do um, is, when you're at home, you wanna brush through a conditioning agent before you let your dog go. So in a professional grooming setting, your dog is washed, conditioned, dried, and brushed out. A lot of us don't have dryers and the equipment at home to do that. So what I want you to do is after you wash your dog, apply conditioner, I have a spray in, you can use obviously um, a washout or um, you know something else that maybe you have to you know put on your dog in a different fashion. But basically you're gonna apply the conditioner And then we're gonna take a brush and brush this through, making sure that we brush through any tangles that may have occurred from us towel drying, or maybe we didn't get to it when we initially brushed out our dog before the bath. Next, what you're gonna do is take a comb and take this comb and comb it through your dog's hair. If you happen to run into a snag, you know that there's a tangle or a knot there. So you're gonna go back to your brush and brush through that until you can take your comb all the way through. So at this point, when you're able to go through your entire dog in this fashion, you know that your dog is not entangle free. Then what you can do is allow them to air dry and you know that they won't be air drying with any mats or tangles, which can also cause skin irritation, especially after bathing because all of that water collects underneath those mats and there's no oxygen that can get to it. So you can cause some you know, hot spots and other skin irritation. So hopefully that helps for your at home baths and we'll see you next time.